Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to edit with Shotcut. I'm doing a music video, Silent Scream, on it, and I did some of my other videos, but for like, I'm going to, if you watch my other video, I'm going to actually be using a mix of editors, not just like, just video editor, or just clip champ, or just this, but I will be using this in the future for like, if I want to edit more, but if I just want to speed things up, I would just use my video editor. So first, use this your page, it's called Shotcut, and I'm going to open my testing one. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's just do T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-
use these, but you could have. Uh, I don't know what just happened. Okay. So next we're going to learn about transitions. So you want to click and hold this and then go make it go over the next clips. Then you want, like, say you want to go like, it, this depends how far you want, short, if you want a transition short or long. So if you go over it, you see this cross thing. So let's press that and press, sorry, instead, go press the plus, this cross thing, and go to properties. Then you can choose from these. You can, I, there isn't that much, and you don't get an example, but I still think it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think stuff. So. Okay, and also, if you want to press this, you can add time, video tracks, and audio tracks. And you just hit input your audio tracks right here. So, if you want to change the speed of this, you go to properties and then press go to speed. I recommend, don't go so fast, this is going to get really weird. Yeah, I just take a time to like make the clip shorter. See? And then now you're clip is faster. Sorry if it looks bad quality on here. I don't really know why. It's pretty usually good quality though, so don't worry. So you can also add stuff when you open it, you can add it to your playlist so playlist so you can do it again. If you wanna copy clips um uh you press this and then press this copy and then press paste. And then a shaboom, you got another clip. So, yeah. Um, you can also experiment with filters, you just have to press this. Uh, and then add the more filters. In my favorite section, I also have like, um, rotation, where you can Go like this. Yee! Then you have a scale. This is actually pretty useful. Uh, this is where you, you want to place it. Uh, I don't know where you want. But, and there's also an undo button. So I'm just going to remove this. You can detach audio. Update thumbnails and stuff. Uh, let's press detach audio, then remove it. And now you don't have the audio, but you can also just put the audio on the track. Also, uh, you can also just go to here and then go to mute, so you don't have audio either. So, and if you you don't have to hear the audio, but that's just temporary temporarily if you think about it there isn't that much stuff up here like for stuff but filters is the main point and so are these if you want to adjust your thing you can go all the way up or all the way down um and I know it looks like a mess you can also go to source project but it's usually project so that's it for the video. And it was, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you want another editor called Olive, um, I'll link a video that may be useful. But if you guys, if I get used to it and find a good tutorial, and I get, and I can do a tutorial, um, a video on it too, I will show you guys. But overall, even if um Olive doesn't look as has barely anything on the screen. I still like shot better. So anyways, that's it. Bye.